Hey, what's up guys? I'm with my cousin Giovanni. What it do? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do is throw in a few of these kind of videos into the channel. Um, I'm gonna make a playlist. So I'm gonna do my normal thoracic outlet syndrome injury series, but I'm gonna throw a few of these weight training and what you can do to build and bulk. And if you're new to weight training, how to start correctly. Because a lot of people are, are weight training and doing the wrong thing. They don't know how to build and how to grow properly, or they're just training and not seeing results. So today we're going to do chest, if you want to bulk up your chest and get huge pecs. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to do this, make, throw it into one big playlist. So you can just click the playlist and then you'll see all the injury recovery series and you'll see all the muscle building series and uh, we'll just grow from there. So this is episode one, we're going to focus on chest. Okay, so we have a standard exercise machine here. You can do normal push-ups, but if you have weights, if you have dumbbells, we've got a old set of dumbbells there but perfect for whatever you need you can use um water bottles five liter water bottles fold up whatever you whatever you can use to build and train use them i'm going to start with pick deck and we're going to do four sets of 12. so find a weight yeah 12. so find a weight that's good for you yeah let's go make sure you keep good form exhale on the way out and what you want to focus on is squeezing your chest together so focus on that muscle mind connection as you're squeezing you're focusing and pretending and thinking about the chest working so you're feeling the burn thinking about the chest working and it's going to really help you slow and controlled you don't want to be just flying through the sets you want to slow and controlled just like this which is perfect there you go So nice and slow, you see it's not rushed, it's very slow, controlled, you're thinking about that movement, exhaling on the, on the way out, and then that just gives you the oxygen and energy you need for the next push, and helps you go a little bit longer getting rid of the lactic acid. Okay, small rest, about a 30 seconds to a minute, however you feel till you feel like you can push again. The next 12, as you can see it's, it's a perfect weight to start off with. You want to choose a weight that's good for you not too heavy you want to be able to do the 12 and you want it to be burning so you don't want it too light either you just want it to be working so now you can see we're on the second set we're getting through starting to burn the <laughs> lactic <laughs> acid is pushing through <laughs> but that's what you want as, as long as you're working you can feel the burn what we're going to build up to is getting that strength until you push to failure so that last set by the time you're at like 10 8 to 10 reps you're failing and you're struggling and that's when the muscle grows that's when it you get those microfiber tears and they start building on top of that so you need to tear the muscle you need to work till failure that's when you grow what we're going to do is go outside work the sides and bottom of the chest with some dumbbells okay second thing you can do you don't necessarily need a bench because it's very hard to find a bench come outside or lay wherever you can on a hard surface hard floor take your dumbbells and what you're going to do here straight up let them touch and straight back down so obviously you don't have a huge range of motion because you're straight on the floor so your elbows are going to touch but it's fine what we want to do is work on getting that strength focus on that muscle get that squeeze in the chest so as you're lifting make sure you're focusing on the muscle and you want everything to squeeze so don't just train and not imagine that muscle pretend that that muscle is is working is helping you push because that mind-muscle connection is hugely important. There you go. Three, four. Now you can see good control, nice and slow. You don't want to be rushing through it. You'll see lots of guys at the gym rush through their sets. They go extremely heavy and they rush through it. If you can go lighter, keep it more controlled, you'll get the same results. Even better results because you'll be working those stabilizer muscles a lot more. Okay, and then the next thing you can do is the same position, the same dumbbells. I don't know if it feels okay or if you need a lighter one, but we're going to do the same motion, but halfway up, we're going to touch the bottoms. We're going to rotate our arms and touch the bottom of the dumbbells. This engages the bottom and the sides of the chest, gives you that peck that really comes out nicely and gives it that nice defining shape. So squeeze, rotate, twist. And make sure you're squeezing all the way at the top you'll actually feel your chest really squeezing and engaging at the top of that set okay once you've done four sets 12 reps of that you're going to come do the second exercise for the sides and bottom of your chest and just remember to control it slow and then twist them in let the bottom of the dumbbells touch 
that rotating motion is going to work the sides of your chest as you rotate it pulls and defines the sides and underneath the back nice come push 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 there you go so you're going to do four sets of everything 12 reps is ideal for growing once you've done four sets four sets four sets if you still feel like you can go you can do four sets of push-ups do 12 reps there as well and that just finishes off the chest nicely so that's just the first chest exercise you can do and that's just a routine you can do for a few weeks it's going to grow your chest define your chest if you're new to weight training it's really going to help you get into building and doing it the correct way so hope this helps you guys i'll see you soon